I will ask you one more time. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment? Here is Elise Stefanik asking Harvard President Claudine Gay <laughs> the same question. And Dr. Gay, at Harvard, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. What's the context? Targeted as an individual, targeted as, at an individual. It's targeted at Jewish it. students, Jewish individuals. Do you understand your testimony is dehumanizing them? Do you understand that dehumanization is part of anti-Semitism? I will ask you one more time. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? Anti-Semitic rhetoric. When it and is it anti-Semitic rhetoric? Anti-Semitic rhetoric when it crosses into conduct that amounts to bullying, harassment, intimidation, that is actionable conduct and we do take action. So the answer is yes, that calling for the genocide of Jews violates Harvard code of conduct, correct? Again, it depends on the context. It does not depend on the context. The answer is yes, and this is why you should resign. These are unacceptable answers across the board. This is so extraordinary. I, want to, I just want to make the distinction again. She's not talking about what the First Amendment allows. What these people, when they call for the geno genocide of the Jews or when they're calling for River to the Sea or any of those things, they're trying to intentionally get as close as they possibly can to a violation of the First Amendment, right? Like they're using our rules against us. That's one thing. But that's not what Stefanik is asking about here. She's saying, what are the policies of the school? You guys, when kids come to the school, you get a booklet or a pamphlet or something, and it's a bullying and harassment pamphlet. Try to imagine it this way. Try to imagine it this way. Imagine if there was a whole bunch of white kids rampaging through Harvard calling for the genocide of black people. What do you think Harvard would be doing right now? Connor, you're white. You, give, me, give me something on this one. You, they would not allow it, according to white Connor. <laughs> they wouldn't allow it, and we all know they wouldn't allow it, and they shouldn't allow it. They have their policy related to bullying and harassment. The fact that this dingbat, Miss Gay, Dr. Gay, which is like just so perfect for related to all, Dr. Gay. Um, but the fact that Dr. Gay is like, well, you know, really it's again, when it turns into conduct. Okay, so when we have 10 dead Jews hanging into Harvard Square, would that be enough for you? Would that be a problem? Anyway, thankfully, everyone with their head on straight, and there still are a couple people, uh, are calling this out for the abject lunacy that it is. Here's Elon Musk, who no, is not an anti-Semite. Let me help them out here. Calling for the genocide death of anyone obviously constitutes harassment. Again, this is their own policies related to bullying and harassing, right? So this is separate from the First Amendment itself. So once again, Elon Musk just doing the right thing, the thing that we all know, but that these corrupt, mind-muddled social justice freaks who have been given you know, jobs that these people are probably paid three or $400,000 a year to do. Um, just disgusting.